Hi children. Today I'm going to talk to you about a man named Saul. In our pictures, this is Saul. Think back to a Bible lesson we had recently where a man was killed with the rocks. Do you remember his name was Stephen? In that lesson, I told you about how the people who were throwing the rocks took off their coats and they put their coats down at the feet of a man named Saul. Here he is. This man was there when Stephen was being killed. And Stephen, remember, prayed for God to forgive them? Well, Saul hated Christians. He did not want people telling about Jesus. And so he would go from door to door knocking and looking for Christians to hurt or to put into prison. Do you remember that's one of the reasons why Philip left Jerusalem and went far away to Samaria? Well, Saul wasn't happy just arresting people who lived in Jerusalem. So he got permission to go far away to Damascus and arrest people there and find Christians that he could hurt or put into prison. Well, on his way, God sent a bright light and Saul fell to the ground. I like this picture. Look at this one. There you can see the bright light shining down from heaven. And Saul sees that bright light. And there probably were more people with him. And the Bible says he fell to the ground. And when that bright light shone down on him, Saul heard a voice. And the voice said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Persecute means to cause trouble for. And Saul said, who are you? And the voice said, I am Jesus. I am the one you are persecuting. He said, get up and go to the city of Damascus. When Saul got up, he could not see. He was blind. And so the people that were with him took his hand and they led him to the city of Damascus. The Bible tells us that he stayed in the house of a man named Simon. And he was there for three days. And while he was there for those three days, he did not eat. He did not want to drink anything. But the Bible tells us he prayed. He prayed for three days. He didn't eat, he didn't drink, but the Bible says he prayed. And then God spoke to a man named Ananias. And God told Ananias, I want you to go to Simon's house. And there is a man named Saul. And Ananias said, oh, I can't go there, Lord. I've heard of Saul. He has a bad reputation. He wants to kill your children. And God said, Ananias, go, because I have chosen Saul to do my work. Wow. And God said, Ananias, Saul is waiting for you. He knows you're coming. So Ananias went, and he talked to Saul, and he said, Saul, Jesus, whom you were planning to persecute, has sent me. And then he called him, Brother Saul, I am here to touch you and give you your sight back. So Ananias knew that he was going to be a believer too. And when he touched Saul, he could see again. What a miracle. Saul got up and Ananias said, give him some food. And he ate and got strong. And then he went out and he started to preach. He started to teach to anybody who would listen about the Bible, God's Word. And the people who heard it were amazed because they knew that Saul had come to Damascus to hurt Christians and to arrest them. 
And all of a sudden, he was doing God's work. He was doing exactly the work that the people were doing who he had been trying to hurt. God changed Saul's heart. God changed Saul's heart from one of disbelief and hatred toward Jesus to the heart of a believer and one filled with love for Jesus. Saul is going to do a lot of work for Jesus. Saul is going to go to many countries and many cities and many places to tell people that the Savior was born for them and that he loves them and that he wants them in heaven. He told them about God's laws and he wrote many books of the, of the Bible even. He wrote letters to the churches that he went to. Maybe you've heard of some of those books. Corinthians, Ephesians, Galatians, all of those books of the Bible, he wrote as letters to the churches that he helped start or that he strengthened through his preaching. So God used Saul, who had hated him. Whoops, I lost my paper. Remember, he hated Christians and God changed his heart so that he went out and he helped convert more Christians. He helped change people's hearts, just like his heart was changed. Was it Saul who was doing that alone? Absolutely not. We cannot make Christians. Only the Holy Spirit does that. And the Holy Spirit worked through the words that he gave Saul to say to tell other people about God's love. And God changed Saul's name. We're going to know him better as Paul, as the Apostle Paul. Talk to you later, everybody.